Happy Sunday. Mr. Ripka reading Neruda during Corona. It's a good day to be doing this. It's Sunday, and we actually have the word sun show up two times, and the word moon also, or moonlight shows up. So, Sunday, four questions. A couple of them have to do with the sun. Let us begin in Espanol. Number one. ¿Y por qué el sol es tan mal amigo del caminante en el desierto? Número dos. ¿Y por qué el sol es tan simpático en el jardín del hospital? Tres. ¿Son pájaros o son peces en estas redes de la luna? Cuatro. Uh, fue a donde a mí me perdieron que logré por fin encontrarme. All right. Poem 33. Here we are in English. Questions for you to contemplate on this sunless Sunday, it looks like. Here we go. Number one. And why is the sun such a bad companion to the traveler in the desert. Of course, in Espanol, it says, Por qué el sol es tan mal amigo? So why is the sun such a poor friend, such a bad friend for the traveler in the desert? Hmm. And why is the sun so congenial in the hospital garden? So we have... The sun, he's asking, why is it such a bad friend for the person in the desert and yet such uh, a kind uh, person, I guess not person, kind object, uh, when it's in the hospital garden? So those two, once again, why is the sun such a bad companion to the traveler in the desert and why is the sun so congenial in the hospital garden? All right, on to the next one where we get moonlight. Are there, I'm sorry, are they birds or fish in these nets of moonlight? So the question was, are they birds or fish in these nets of moonlight? Curious image, the nets of moonlight. Never thought about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Last one has nothing to do with sun or moon. It says, Was it where they lost me that I finally found myself? Once again, ending on a, one of those questions we talked about before a couple days ago where it's more abstract and less of the combining vivid images to reach a new reality. So, to read all four of them all at once, just so you can feel the movement, it says, And why is the sun such a bad companion to the traveler in the desert? And why is the sun so congenial in the hospital gardens? Are they f birds or fish in these nets of moonlight? Was it where they lost me that I finally found myself? I hope you find something interesting about yourself and your day today. And I'll see you tomorrow for Monday, poem 34. Wow, there are 74. So after tomorrow, 40 more of these. All right, have a great day.